think it's been a combination of allowing them to experience a number of classes. And then of course the careers class is something completely new for them. So I think a lot of them enjoyed that. We did a lot of hands-on uh, activities. They learned how to introduce themselves, have interactions and team building skills which help them to be stronger in their other classes and allow them to know how to communicate with others better. It's for you to get your partner to your side of the line. <laughs> Everyone get ready, get ready. Get ready. Get ready. <laughs> Remember the goal? I got 15 oh, seconds. Okay. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Instead of me fighting against Jen to try and get her over here and not to be not too over there, we fight. both serve each, each other by helping each other out. Like, hey, do you need me, Jen, to get over there? I need you to be over here. Can we do that? All right, there we go. We accomplished our goal in like two seconds. Who's excited to play some games? Now that you'll see a ring. This ring. This ring is the only thing that can touch the tennis ball. No part of your body, no shoe, no jacket, nothing. The only thing that can touch this ball is this ring. That's pretty clear. The only thing that can touch this ball is this ring. The only thing that can touch the ring are these strings, and you have to grab these strings at the end behind tiny little knots. Once you get the ball, up and off of the stand. You cannot move the stand. You cannot move that stand either. Once you get the ball up and off the stand, if it drops to the floor, you bring it back to where you started with it and go again. Put it on the stand, get it off the stand, and take it over there. The game is finished when all five of these tennis balls are on that stand. World Championship Rock, Paper, Scissors. Oh. not only betters them uh, as a student and prepares them, but will allow the other high schools to benefit from this transformation that they've gone through. And not only that, but strengthen our community as well. One of the things that we did, uh, which is really important, is we learned the value of volunteerism. And one of the projects was is that we created ABC books for families and children who come to family building blocks who need help and are wanting to be able to read to their children or to teach their children how to read. So not only did we make the books 
for our family building blocks um, recipients, but we delivered them to them, and that was incredible. I think all of us have seen incredible uh, transformation. Um, many have learned how to speak in front of others, uh, to introducing themselves, to being confident. I think we got past those initial fears and barriers, and now they're walking tall and proud. Perseverance always works. Perseverance, you guys, that's what it takes to reach your goal. I know some of you have goals to go to college, to graduate high school, to get good grades. You keep trying, and you try something new, and when you not give up, you don't give up, you will succeed. I think it has been amazingly successful. For those students who stuck out their five-week journey, they started not knowing uh, what they were going to learn and have gained the skills to, to uh, allow them to be successful in high school and in life. Uh, we have gone through the job application process, creating a resume, doing a career survey of what their interests, their strengths, their skills, uh, and I think most are ready for high school, for sure. Because we are celebrating, and we are celebrating the fact that many of you are going to be receiving credit for having been here how many weeks? Five. Five weeks, this is awesome. So you, many of you, are going to have a head start over many of the other ninth graders that are starting at McKay. So you will have a little bit more credit than some of them. And you will have some more recent review of some of the concepts that will make you successful at McKay. So I would like to congratulate you for having stuck around for five weeks. And we have some gifts for you. We also have some folks that we would like to introduce. So we have the principal of where? Right here? Wow. <laughs> Guys, you did exactly what we wanted you to do. You showed up and you came. That's the first step to success. So good job on doing that. I'm so glad to see some of you back here. And, um, okay, I'll wait. Thank you. You are going to be so much better prepared because of the effort you took this last these last five weeks. Why don't you take a minute though and thank the people who made this possible for you and to your teachers sitting around here, Mr. Barrios, Mr. Cosby, and all the others. Give them a big round of applause. Now, you really want to hear from the McKay folks, don't you? Because that's who, that's who you are now. So let's turn it over to them and then we'll get you those awards. The expectation is that when you go to McKay, I'll wait, thank you, thank you. The expectation is that when you um, start atten attending McKay that you are going to do awesome work. Yes, and when we see you down the hall, you will be walking around with a smile on your face because you are being successful and things are going well for you. Some of the other assistant principals that you will meet at McKay, Ivan, thank you. Appreciate that. So I would like for you to meet uh, Mr. Gordy Croston. He is the athletic director, and many of you will have contact with him right away, right? Because some of you are athletes. We also have Mr. Eric Jesperson. He's one of the assistant principals. Mrs. Sarah Leroy is one of the other assistant principals. Mr. Jay Weeks is around here, too. Um, he just stepped out for a second. So I'm going to allow any of our assistant principals at McKay to share a few words of wisdom with you. So here we go. Just a couple things. First of all, I want to say once again how happy we are that you participated in this program. The biggest thing that you're going to find in high school is for you to be successful, it's just effort. It's showing up, it's showing up on time and giving good effort. And if you do those three things, high school's going to be a breeze. It's when you don't have the effort, you don't show up, you don't show up on time, you have that I don't care attitude, that's what hurts you. Everybody in this gym wants you to be successful. Every single one of you can do it. You did it here, you came on your own, you came voluntarily, 
You're around some great teachers. In a few short weeks, you're going to be in high school. And you need to have the mindset that you can do it and you will do it. And it shouldn't just be that you're going to graduate. It should be that you're going to college. And anyone who says you can't do it, they're wrong. You've got to believe in yourself. And if you do that, you're going to have tremendous success. And we are really, really excited about having you at McKay High School. Thank you. Hey guys, I'd just like to encourage you to get involved. Get involved. It is about effort, it's about work ethic. One of the one of the best ways to learn that is to get involved in athletics or activities. Because when you're a part of a team at McKay, you will learn how to work hard. You'll, you will learn how to be a good teammate. And our the GPA of people who are involved in athletics and activities is one point higher than people who are not. Think about that for a second. And the reason is because you learn. You learn how to be a good student. And so I encourage you to get involved. Get involved! Get involved! Get involved. <laughs> Please come down and um, get that taken care of next Tuesday or Wednesday, both days, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. All right? Okay, looking forward to it. So we're going to ask you to, um, to come down, and you, we have some gifts for you to congratulate you on your success. So we have some really nice t-shirts by sizes, right? And we have some backpacks, right? So we are going to need to um, keep track of your name to make sure. So as you come up, why don't you say your name and we'll... Jeanette, let's just tell them where the shirts are. So they know. All the way down to double XL. So as you, as you come down, get your shirt, get your backpack, and then cafeteria. Because we have a special celebration for you in the cafeteria. Yay! Okay, so um, we will need to take your name and um, check you out. Thank you. Congratulations. I'm just going to leave you with this encouragement. One, before I do that, one, I firmly stand. I firmly stand on the fact, on the truth, that inside each and every one of you is value, is greatness. I believe that because I know that's true. So I encourage you in that to take the best option of every opportunity instead of bringing pain and destruction and hurt to choose to help one another to make good decisions that bring value to one another that in turn to bring value to yourself I encourage you in that thank you so much for listening